Hi, my name is Tress Hoyt. I'm here at ASL Art Supply in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to produce some graffiti. Now, I'm not trying to condone vandalism, telling you to go out and paint walls and things like that. I'm just trying to explain some of the artistic ways that graffiti has kind of moved into the art world. Uh, so some of you out there that are interested in it can kind of learn some of the basics. Some of the easiest ways to produce graffiti is using markers, a uh, nice little crank here. You can do hand styles and uh, little small bubble letterings or different designs, things like that. Uh, works in black books, uh, canvases, all kinds of those things. Um, next thing would be using stickers. You can get stickers from a bunch of different places or you can have stickers made and they're a really easy way to uh, produce some graffiti stylings. And then a third way would be to use stencil works with spray paint or you know other types of paint. Um, and with the spray paints, uh, this is a plutonium G. It's what we carry here at uh, ASL Art Supply. This is a really nice paint. It doesn't give you a headache. It actually smells sweet once you're done with it. So if you're working with canvases, you can bring this inside when you're done and it's not going to stink up your whole house like paint fumes. They're universal with uh, many different styles of caps. These are European style caps. This is an orange dot, which produces an ultra fat circle. And this is a blue dot, which is a soft cap, which produces a very soft spray, which is probably best to use with stenciling especially smaller stencils. These are the New York style caps. This is a, a Rusto, and this works on Rust-Oleum cans, pretty much, sing or only. And this is a New York fat, which produces a pretty large dot, but not as big as the orange dots. These are some skinny caps, and what that means is they produce a very fine line, about a finger width, two finger widths, just depending. Uh, this one's a universal. It'll work on almost any can, and this is a banana, a uh, yellow dot banana, and this only really works with European brands of spray paint. Um, it doesn't work too well with some of the American brands, but um, you gotta be careful with that. Sometimes it gets a little flooded. But uh, when you're producing some hand styles, um, you first just practice in your black book, and then you can scale up from just basic line letters into bubble forms, and the same way that goes for the stickers. Whatever you're doing in your black book, you can just draw that onto your stickers and you can go stick them up different places, uh, put them up on canvases, things like that, and create nice little collages of stickers. Uh, same with stencils, you can collage a bunch of stencils together and have them do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. But that's some of the production ways of how you can start learning how to do some graffiti.